Do you know your medicine? Weed Maps and SC Laboratories bring you an educational series on the science of clean and safe cannabis. Today's cannabinoid profile is on terpenes. So terpenes are the main class of aromatic compounds that are found in cannabis and an aromatic compound first of all way back when when uh, scientists were first classifying compounds they used some rather ad hoc methods to do that and aromatics got their name because they all have pleasant aroma they're the kind of compounds that you would find in cinnamon ginger pine trees it's these compounds that are responsible for the smell of marijuana smoke for example the Cannabis plant produces several terpenoids that, you know, give it, you know, you have cannabis plants that smell like bubble gum, grape, lemon, spices. So cannabis is really an interesting plant in the fact that it can produce a wide range of terpenoids. The main terpenoids in cannabis are myrcene, limonene, caryophylline, and pyrene. Uh, additionally, they all will contain this kind of structure, which is, this is the very most simple um, aromatic compound, which we call benzene. It has the formula C6H6. It's easy to imagine how if you replaced one or more of the hydrogen atoms in this compound with other organic fragments, you can build up a whole series of different compounds that are generally referred to as aromatics. They're all somewhat similar to the cannabinoids in chemical structure, so they can definitely have interesting effects, and in, in the terpenoids on their own have been found to have different medical benefits. For example, beta caryophylline is one of the few non-cannabinoids that is known to actually activate the CB2 receptor. I mean, it's also um, known as um, an anti-inflammatory. Lemonine has been shown to be somewhat antidepressant, and you have mercine, which is the majority or, or the major constituent of the terpenoids profile in cannabis plants. So myrcene is shown to also have medical benefits to some extent. You know, the terpenoids are very interesting and, and they give cannabis its, its uniqueness. You know, you have one plant that is a 16% THC plant, you have another plant that's a 16% THC plant, but yet they, they give you somewhat subtle differences in, in the effects they have on you. And a lot of that can be attributed to the terpenoids.